If you ever plan on being married, you're going to have to plan a wedding. Unless, of course, you decide to have a drive through wedding in Las Vegas or a quick elope at the courthouse. And honestly, you might give some weight to the lighter options. It'll save you money and you'll have fewer painful memories when your wife inevitably stabs you in the back. Six years of marriage, Sharon, and apparently that meant nothing to you. Venue will be the first thing you'll have to figure out when you get ready to plan your ceremony. Scenery is important. Where you're married is quite possibly more important than who you're married to, or so I've learned over the past six months. Plus, the memories of your chosen location won't run out on you and take the kids in the middle of the night, and it certainly won't sign their name with a heart when they leave a I'm moving in with Chad note on your pillow while you're at work. If you can swing it, try to set your wedding in the exotic location you've always wanted to visit. Proper planning in this way can turn your destination wedding into a two birds one stone situation. Your honeymoon will be only a few steps away from your venue, and you won't lose any of the wedding day romance on a long flight and hotel check-in. Or you know, when your best friend plays daddy in your house while you're on a five day business trip to Cleveland. Thanks Chad! I can't do this shit anymore! I'm back. I'm back. I'm a strong person. I'm moving on. And I can do this. Here we go. Rings will be the material symbol of your love for years to come. Six years specifically. Sure, those beautiful golden bands will put you in debt, and the money you spend on them could really help you put a deposit down on a reasonable apartment after Sharon takes the house in the divorce, but you don't want to cheap out on them. Wearing cheap metals can leave visible stains on your skin, and you can't pawn bronze and cubic zirconia to pay your divorce lawyer should anything go wrong. I'm sure it won't. You'll probably be fine. Only half of all marriages end in divorce. You've got a 50-50 shot here according to probability. That's comforting, right? Wedding cakes aren't something you may think could break the bank, but a good wedding cake made by a talented professional can cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars. You can save a bit of money and add a little sentiment if you happen to have a relative who can put together a somewhat tolerable cake. It might be a rustic look, but it'll have meaning. And you can save even more money if you call off the wedding now before your entire life falls apart behind your back. Then you can eat the entire cake yourself. The salt from your tears may cut the sweetness, but it's the healthiest self-medicating habit you're going to pick up. Trust me. The reception, unless you do something absolutely tyrannical, will be a blast for everyone involved. Well, everyone attending. The people involved will likely be stressed and yelling at each other behind the scenes. You have to remember that a wedding is a performance. You're both playing the part of loving newlyweds at the reception, even though she's probably screwing your best friend. But you have a job to do here. Suck it up and deal with it six years later when you're finally ready to face the truth. Also, hiring a competent DJ will help keep everything at the reception flowing correctly. The dance, the toast and games, and tracking down your wife and best man while they're out on a cigarette break. You know, before they come back with tussled hair and smeared makeup. You might be nervous for your first dance as a married couple. Everyone is watching. Taking a few dance lessons at your local YMCA or recreation center can go a long way. You don't want her stepping on your feet and breaking your toes the same way that bitch is inevitably going to break your heart. Isn't that right, Sharon? Nothing you could have done, huh? I gave you everything you ever wanted. Everything except my childhood best friend. We've been friends since we were eight, Chad. You son of a bitch. I'll come for you, Chad. Someday. Someday you'll get yours. You motherfucking son of a and furthermore, Join us for our next documentary, Divorce, and how to hopefully keep Sharon from clearing out your bank accounts and introducing your former best friend as your new daddy to your children. Hey guys, thanks for watching another LTOP video. Uh, hit that subscribe button, punch that notification bell, uh, stay up to date with all of our recent content. Go to ltop.com, ltopd.com to read our satire news and other comedy stuff. Follow our podcast channels. We'll have everything in the description. Just click those links and sign up. Thanks, guys.